Guys, welcome back to Tank TV and today I'm going to show you how to set up an FX6 and an FX4 canister filter. Now this is also the FX6 that's up for grabs in the competition so keep watching but I'm also going to give you my free top tips on how you can make these even better. Okay, so first of all what comes in the box. So obviously you get the canister itself. Okay, the FX4. Now I'm going to do it on the. I'm going to do this video on the FX4 because this is going to be going onto the 240 freshwater tank in the fish room, and that's what the discus are going to be going into for the foreseeable future. So, unboxing it in the box itself, you get the canister. Wrapped around the canister itself is you get the pipe work. Okay, which we'll take off in a second. Now, inside the canister itself is where you'll find your contents, the likes of the sponges and stuff like that. Now, you've got sponge, okay, for one of the baskets, one of the chambers, you get your media in there as well. Inside there, you've got one basket, more media, some mesh bags just to put the media into, another basket and that's your two that's in there. What you also get is you'll get some tubing. Now what you can do with this is you can just attach this to the filter itself, which is just, which is just down here, just to help you drain the filter out. You've got your outlet or your duck bills just in there as well. And then in here you will have your inlet pipe work and just your nozzles and your brackets to attach it all together. So let's put it all together. I'll show you the best way to, and the easiest way to set it up, how it attach onto the tank, and then like I said at the end, I'll show you how to upgrade it all. Okay, so initial setup, nice and easy. Like I said, with the FX4, you'll get your two baskets. Okay, if you've got an FX6, you're gonna have three of these. Okay, but obviously because we're gonna do the FX4, we're only gonna be working with the two. Now, like I said, you get your media. Give this a good rinse. Okay, not essential, but there is going to be a lot of dust on there and particles when you first turn the filter on that will flush and rinse straight out into your filter. Okay, you've got, like I said, top chamber or top basket. You've got your sponge, you've got your sponges around the edge. Now, these red baskets here, get rid of them. Okay, all they're doing, all they're going to do is take up room and it gives us a lot more space for media to go in there. Sponge as well, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna keep take this out of the top one, but we're gonna keep hold of it for a second. Okay, so nice and easy. Get your media. Okay, like I said, you can rinse it if you want, but pretty much just goes into the top chamber there. Okay, so that's your first basket done. Second basket, same thing. We just get rid of this red basket there okay now this one this sponge here that comes that's your carbon okay now personally unless you're medicating and you're looking to remove the medicine from the tank or you're looking to sort of polish or remove some smells from the tank I wouldn't worry about it get rid of it okay again media goes into the bottom one okay that's your media pretty much done. Now, you may be looking at that and thinking that's not a lot of media in there. And again, at the end of the video, part of the free upgrades I'm gonna talk about is this gonna be one of the main things. So other than that, sponge back on the top. If you're not upgrading today, leave it as that. That's your baskets done, ready to go. And then we'll move on to how to set up the canister, the pipe work itself. Let's do it. So your baskets have been done. Obviously with the FX4, you get the two baskets. And obviously if you've got an FX6, you'll get three of these, but you set them up the exact same way. As mentioned before, you'll get the pipe work that comes around attached and wrapped around the edge of the filter. You get one length, and then what you'll do is you'll then cut that to the length that you need. You can buy additional pipe, so if you do need that for one, Okay, you can also go and buy some more pipe, obviously, to attach to inlet plus outlet. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Lid goes back on. Okay, you just get your valves. One on your inlet. One on your outlet. Okay, so that's your valves on. Through these, you can control the flow rate. You can shut the valves off. Okay, speaking with Fluval, if you do want to slow the flow down, they said to me to only ever adjust the outlet valve. Don't touch the inlet, because it can put strain on the motor. 
just use, just touch the, just ch uh, change the outlet if you need to change the flow. In your bag of goodies, you'll get some suction cups on there. That's just to attach the inlet strainer to the inside of the tank. But what you also get is you'll get two Jubilee clips as well. Okay, so with the Jubilee clips, nice and simple. You go onto there. Okay, onto the valve. Like so, nice and simple. Obviously tighten up the Jubilee clip and then cut to the length that you need. Okay, so I've just taken the valves off quickly just so I can show you. So then you've got the inlet and outlet pipes. Okay, they've been cut to length. That's all the ends that are gonna be going into the tank. Obviously you've got one end for your outlet. Okay, there's your strainer there. Pop that on. And easy obviously check it's watertight that's not going anywhere and then you get your bracket which will then go over the top or the lip of the tank itself so place that there over the tank okay and then the outlet itself will just hang over it and the clips that were attached so click the first one on all right, so that's attached in there, it's safe, it's not going anywhere. Bend it round, attach the second one. Like so, so that's solid. And then attach the third one. Outlet, again, so we've got the other end in your bag here, where you get the instruction manual and the drainage pipe. You will get your duck bills. Okay, same sort of thing. Attach it to the end. Okay, so you've got it on there like that. Clips exactly the same. Goes one end over the edge of the tank, clips on, and obviously that is then ready to install on the tank itself. Okay, so you're all set up and you're ready to go. We've got the valves on. Outlet is obviously attached. Okay, nice and simple. That's now ready to hang on the tank. Inlet attached, again, ready to hang on the tank. We've done the internals, okay. Just tightened everything up and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. One thing just to remember, when, when you're doing up the fasteners, just do them symmetrically at the same time, a little bit at a time, just so you're not putting too much pressure or you're pinching the gasket, the rubber gasket around the edge of the filter and you're not going to cause it to split, tear and obviously give yourself a leak. So now let's get it upgraded. Right, let's talk about upgrading the chambers or the baskets, the FX6, the FX4 itself. Now we've already set these up and as standard this is pretty much what it will look like. You get the standard white sponges that come in the filter itself, you'll get a sponge for the top and your media. And the first thing we're going to do is these sponges here, get rid of them, okay? They're not the worst sponges on the planet, but the problem is, is the PPI on these sponges is quite big. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, you can see straight through it. Okay, now that won't collect any of the small particles, the dust, anything. There's going to be stuff that's going to be able to go through the filter and kick back out into your tank. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do on every single basket is we're going to replace these. Now, easy and simple way to do it is from majority of local fish shops, you can buy what you get. You'll get a fine, medium and coarse sponge. And what it would do is it would look like this. Okay, so you get blue, green, you'll get a black one as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the fine and the coarse sponge. And what you're going to do is the filters and the, and the white sponge that come in the FX6, place it over the top to use it as a template, and you're going to cut it to shape. Here's one I made earlier, somewhere. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. 
Here we go. So, we've got the fine and the coarse sponge, and what we've done is we've cut it to the exact same shape of the sponge that comes in the FX4 or FX6. What we've then done is we've then put the teeth or the grooves together, and what you're going to do is the fine sponge is going to be on the outside. So the, so the sponge with the larger PPI is going to be on the outside of the filter, okay, around the outside, and then the, and then the smaller PPI sponge is going to be on the inside. Right, so now your media basket is going to look like that. We've got the fine sponge on the outside with the larger PPI, then we've got this coarse sponge on the inside with the smaller PPI. Now all this means, like I said, is the white sponges that they include with the filters. The PPI is quite, the whole, the whole size is quite large on it, so it won't pick up the smaller stuff that obviously kicks into your filter and it'll send it straight back out into the tank. So what this does is it just fine tunes that water a little bit more onto the next. As mentioned previously, the biggest problem with the Fluval filters is they tend to sell a lot on their name. Now, they are great filters, they are great canisters, but the problem is, is there is still so much space there for media. Now, one of the main things, this probably comes with about a kilo, if that, actually probably about 500 grams of media. The FX4, you can get about two kilos of media if you really pack it in. The FX6, about three, uh, three kilos in, to in total. So you can get yourself a lot more media in both these baskets. Like I said, remove the, remove the red holders out of there, remove the carbon out the bottom one, and just ram yourself a lot more media in each basket. So tip number three, my go-to is filter floss. Okay, so what we've got at the moment is we've set this up, so we're gonna take out a lot of the smaller stuff from the water, and then what we're gonna do is we're then gonna fine tune what's left and what's carrying, or what's traveling through the filter with filter floss. Really simple. Media is in there already. The sponge that it comes with on the top goes back in there, and then you've got the filter floss sit straight on the top. So that there is now what your baskets will look like. Do that with both of them. Obviously, you won't have the sponge on the other one because it only comes with one sponge. You can throw another sponge in there if you want, but to be honest, you've got enough mechanical filtration around the edges in the top and then you're gonna have the floss in the other basket as well anyway. So that's what it would pretty much look like. Fine, coarse foam around the edge. Media, sponge back in there, filter floss on the top and jobs are good. Now, not one of my top tips, but one thing that I will always add is this is countryside sea-free resin and nitrate remover. As in previous videos and other videos that I've done, I absolutely swear by this stuff. Now the good thing as well is Carl at Countryside Aquatics, what he's done is he has now made the bags that hold the resin in a nice round circle so it fits in the filter itself. So the last thing I would do with that, again top chamber, place that in the top there so it's just like that. You've then got the C3 resin in there. Floss back on top, and again you're back there. So the water's traveling down into the filter, through the sponges, and up, and it's being fine-tuned and polished with the nitrate being removed by the C3. Jobs are good in. Right, so just to recap, obviously we've got the filter all upgraded. That is pretty much how I will install and set up any FX6. Every customer we visit, it's the upgrades that we always go through. So like I said, we've got the fine and coarse sponge around the edge. We've got the extra media inside both baskets. C3 resin, which I'll use to remove uh, nitrate from the tank or keep the nitrate in control. That's from Countryside Aquatics. And then filter floss just on the top to fine tune the last few little bits. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the FX6 here I'm gonna have up for grabs and up for a competition. And I'm only gonna be asking you to do three simple things to enter. So today is the 20th of April. 2022 and I'm going to run the competition for a month or so we're going to well I'm going to run it to the end of May so by the end if if it's gone end of May 2022 unfortunately you've missed out but the three simple things I'm going to ask you to do are one like the video down below number two leave me a comment well I don't mind whether it's a bit of constructive criticism or maybe any tips or tricks that you may know or what you may do to your FX filters and number three is hit that subscribe button what I'll do is in a 30 days time is I will pick a winner and I will get this posted out to you. It's gonna be UK based unfortunately, so if you're watching outside the UK, I won't be able to post it. 
because the postage will probably cost more than what the filter cost itself. But until then, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.